A boat's a boat, but the mystery box could be anything. It could even be a boat. You know how much we've wanted one of those. Then let's just... Well, take the box. Welcome back to another episode brought to you by Game Glitches. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new series of guides on Ark the Survival. I'm going to have detailed guides showing exactly how one can obtain a boat and how one can turn it from a little annoying thing to, of course, the king of the sea. A floating fortress if you must. As you could see here, this is just a small demonstration of what one can achieve with having a floating boat. And of course, as for security, you could always crank up the security if you need to. So without any further ado, let's quickly jump to how to create a wonderful boat. Now, first things first, that's the most important. You need to uh, first obtain level 30. Once you obtain level 30 and have, of course, enough Engram points to spend, you know, this is a modded server. Please pay attention to the stats or to the uh, Engram here. This is just for demonstration sake. As you could see, this is a wooden raft. It requires 250 wood, 125 fiber, and 75 hide, which can be actually all uh, obtained quite easily. So, you, once you obtain it, of course you craft the item. Once you crafted the item, of course you could now, well, place it down. Find the location that you want to live at. Get into the water. If you're not in the water, as you could see, it will not let you place it down. So, you actually have to, well, be in a god dang water and you'll be able to place it down. And voila! You got yourself a now wrap. Now, please note, these things don't have a weight limit. This is the first condition of the boat. The boat can hold as much items as you can possibly fit on it, but with several of other rules. I will actually going to go over them. Rule one, you could put limitless weight, meaning if a dino can fit on your boat, no matter how big they are, they'll be able to fit on it and, well, float away or, you know, boat away. <laughs> now, the second rule that one must be aware of to, well, have a successful boating life is, well, you have to understand that the boat drifts when you park it. Meaning that if you fell asleep on top of your boat and then logged off for several hours or maybe a day or two, your boat will drift away from under you and you can fall in the water and drown. There are of course several ways of preventing this. So please note of rule number two. Rule number three. Only nine foundations can fit onto a single boat. I have not found another way to fit more than nine. For example, first of course I would recommend you park your boat near the shore so you've got a clear sight of how you're placing down the foundations. So let's begin. The first foundation is the most fundamental foundation out of all of them. It all depends if you get the first one correct. I recommend heavily doing the first set of foundations with thatch. Because then you could always lay it out with something heavier, like stone or metal. Of course, I would also highly not recommend filling in the one behind the boat, even though you could still get into it by clicking E, and then clicking E again, and then you'll end up inside of your house. <laughs> Technically, you don't really even need a door. Once the two corner foundations are secure or, and all four are secure, you're basically almost complete with the foundations. And note that you already have successfully positioned them on top of your boat, correctly and straight. Also, please note, if the raft is in your way or is bothering you, if you come up to the back of the boat, click and hold E, you could actually 
hide sail. My personal desi favorite design is leaving the back portion open and setting up a door right over here, having you and giving you a place to jump on. Now, rule number four and one of the most important and the most valuable rule. Please note that only 65 objects can be placed on top of the boat, meaning 65. You see these foundations with one missing? This is eight. Also, please note, many people don't realize that when you put a door, a, a doorway and a door, this counts for two. All of a sudden, now there are 10 things being used. This is, by the way, what I meant about limitless weight earlier, that if you build this into a straight platform, you could easily fit a dino on top. Please note, the way I would have done it, of course, if you would demolish these walls, I would have done it slightly differently. I would have ended up, which I did with my boat, expanding forward by three. And, of course, building out here. And, of course, you could put this window here. And then you'll have yourself a wonderful boat. When you could even put dino gates up on side of it or in the front to basically put your dinos on a boat. And, of course, put them out into the ocean. But please note that the boat, the raft, doesn't have a lot of HP. Also, the last rule, rule number five, but which isn't really the most important rule and it's not most mandatory, but I personally follow it, which prevents my, my thing from getting owned and destroyed quickly. Now, what I do is quite simple. When Before I log out, I take the boat, and then I drive it all the way to the end of the map. As you could see, my boat, you can't enter it. Even if you would blow it up, we already did this experiment, all of the stuff on the other side of the force field of the boat will fall to the water to the bottom. Therefore, they won't be able to get nothing out of this boat. And there's nothing they can do. Also, another thing I've mentioned earlier, that when you log out the boat drifts away so the way i found a solution for it is actually a creating yourself a nice little place that has walls on all four sides and is a one by one it's a basically a one by one square i found it to be the most effective one plus it saves room and everything you know, and then you just basically log out here. You could either have your bed or whatever else you really want to have. Hey, neighbors, where's your boat? We didn't take the boat. We took the mystery box. Hop in. Just so you guys could see how my boat looks at night. So you guys could see my setup. If you all enjoyed this guide on Arctic Survival, please click like, please click subscribe. Also, please leave in the comments below if you are interested in seeing any other guides or videos, or if you would like me to review another game or make guides in another game. I'm always open to different suggestions. Again, thank you all for uh, watching, and please have a wonderful day in World of Arc.